We delve into North America during the Lower Cretaceous, 135 million years ago. A land dominated by dinosaurs as far as the eye can see. Herbivores of various kinds peacefully graze here. However, in the background a predatory dinosaur lurks, ready to strike its prey. Now it stands before you, the Euteraptor, the first apex predator of the Lower Cretaceous. Euteraptor alongside Achillobator, Dakotoraptor and Austroraptor was one of the largest representatives of the raptors. Its scientific name Euteraptor ostromyces is derived from the genus name Euteraptor meaning Euter's hunter and the species epithet Ostromyces, honoring the paleontologist John Ostrom. Euteraptor reached an average length of 16 to 18 feet or 4.9 to 5.5 meters weighing around 617 to 661 pounds or 280 to 300 kilograms and standing at a height of 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters. However, the largest individual could have been up to 23 feet or 7 meters long and over 881 pounds or 400 kilograms in weight, making it the largest raptor of all time. It's worth noting that not all paleontologists agree with these estimates and some claim that incorrect fossils were used for these measurements. Euteraptor was first discovered by Jim Jensen in the Cedar Mountain Formation in central Utah. It was officially described in 1993 by James Kirkland, Robert Gaston and Donald Birch. It belonged to the raptors or dromaeosaurs. A cladogram of 2015 shows Euteraptor residing within dromaeosaurine, meaning it's more closely related to dromaeosaurus than to velociraptor. However, in 2019 Curry and Evans created a new cladogram reclassifying Euteraptor as a fellow of the Velociraptorinae group. Since 2018, Euteraptor has held the title of the state dinosaur of Utah. Euteraptor gained popularity in part due to its strange appearance in walking with dinosaurs and now has a substantial following. As a dromaeosaur, Euteraptor likely possessed many of the evolutionary features of the group. These include sharp curved claws, feathers, great speed and high agility, as well as high intelligence among dinosaurs. Dromaeosaurs generally had feathers and this is likely the case for Euteraptor as well, despite the absence of feathers in the preserved fossils. If Euteraptor lacked feathers it would be an exception in the group. It's worth considering that the size of Euteraptor may have fled to a degree of Gigantofermi, which smaller relatives in the group did not experience. Gigantofermi is a phenomenon where large animals can better retain body heat due to their volume and insulation, achieving efficient temperature regulation regardless of the external temperature. If Euteraptor is gigantothermic, it might have had reduced or differently arranged feathers than other raptors. However, the exact arrangement or type of feathers remain unknown. As mentioned earlier, Euteraptor was larger than most other dromaeosaurs. It had a slim but muscular build with long, powerful hind limbs designed for swift movements. Its forelimbs were shorter compared to its hind limbs but still well developed. Its leg anatomy allowed for high agility and quick changes of direction. However, due to its size it was slower than its smaller relatives like Dromaeosaurus and Deinonychus. Estimates for Euteraptor speed range between 12.4 and 18.6 miles per hour or 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. Euteraptor also had a long tail which aided in balance and maneuvering while running. Euteraptor's skull was long, flat and relatively large compared to its body. It's estimated to have reached a length of 23.6 to 27.5 inches or 60 to 70 centimeters. The skull was narrower compared to some other predatory dinosaurs and had a slender profile. Euteraptor had large eye sockets, likely contributing to its excellent spatial vision which could have been advantageous for hunting and orientation. Its jaws were equipped with a series of sharp curved teeth of varying sizes and shapes well suited for cutting and tearing flesh. The number of teeth is estimated to be between 51 and 59. Additionally, Euteraptor's skull featured various fenestrae including the antorbital fenestrae in front of the eyes and the temporal fenestrae behind the eyes, which reduced skull weight and anchored jaw muscles. Euteraptor's hind limbs are equipped with sharp curved claws with the second toe claw being the most prominent. 
This claw measured an impressive 9.45 inches or 24 centimeters. The remaining toe claws were shorter but still relatively large compared to other theropods. Its hand claws measured about 3.9 to 5.9 inches or 10 to 15 centimeters. These claws in general were strongly curved and pointed, allowing for effective pulling or gripping of prey. Furthermore, they were robust and sturdy, composed of tough tissue that could withstand high stresses. Utahraptor lived between 135 and 130 million years ago during the Wallachian age in North America. At that time, North America consisted of semi-arid regions with floodplains, open forests, forested rivers and swamps, dominated by conifers, ferns, horsetails and other tracheophytes. Studies also suggest there were brief rainy seasons in these areas, which helped alleviate some of the dryness. This environment was rich in dinosaur life. Euteraptor likely encountered Diguanodontids such as Hippodraco and Cedorestes, other herbivores included the Nodosaur Gastonia and the sauropod Cedorosaurus and Morbosaurus. Pheropods in this environment included the Pherisinus and Martharaptor, the Druodontid, Gemini Raptor and the Onophimimosaurian Ned Colbertia. However, all these predators were small in comparison to Euteraptor emphasizing its position at the top of the food chain. But how did Euteraptor hunt? His primary killing weapon would have been its teeth with the claws playing a supporting role to grip onto prey or pull prey back. Euteraptor would catch small animals by holding them down with the feet and making them unable to move by squeezing them or attacking with their beak. For bigger animals it would hold them down using its body weight, grip tightly with its claws and stop them from moving by breaking them apart or cutting their spinal cord. Its robust build, razor sharp teeth and large sickle claw were well suited for hunting iguanodontids or pherisinosaurs. It's also thought that it occasionally scavenged from dead sauropods when the opportunity arose, putting it in a predator slash scavenger role. If Euteraptor hunted in a pack, it might have even taken down smaller sauropods, although there is no definitive evidence. While multiple Euteraptor individuals have been found in one place, Paleontologists believe this may be the result of a natural predator trap, such as quicksand or a mud pit. Whether it hunted in groups or not, Euteraptor was one of the top predators of the lower Cretaceous of North America and will hopefully continue to gain recognition and appreciation among paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts. That concludes the video about Euteraptor. I hope you could learn something new or interesting. If you want to get to know me more, you can also check out Instagram or Twitter, links in the description. And with that have a great day or evening, goodbye.